Two Seven for free. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lily here. I'm Sally. In this series, we're going to talk to you about settling in Sydney. We've made this series for those people who are considering moving to Sydney to live. In today's episode, we're going to talk to you about setting up bank accounts. Firstly, we'll be talking about the major banks in Australia, different types of accounts, how to open a bank account, and the basic services you will expect. The big four banks in Australia are Commonwealth Bank, Westpac, ANZ, and NAT. Other major retail banks you can see in Sydney include St George Bank, Suncorp Medway, Bank West, Bendigo, HSBC and ING Direct. Each bank would have their specific banking product, but there are three main types of accounts that you can open to keep your money. These are everyday transaction accounts, saving accounts and term deposit accounts. An everyday transaction account is what people commonly use to pay for bills and shopping. These types of accounts give you the flexibility to move money in and out frequently and generally do not offer any interest. You would usually get a bank card to use for the money you have in the account. You can usually use this card to make payment electronically or to withdraw money from an ATM. We'll talk about this in more detail later on. A savings account is one where banks would encourage you to keep depositing your money in, while giving you the flexibility to move the money in and out as you wish. They generally offer some interest and the interest rate you get depend on the bank. And the specific banking product may have certain criteria to meet, such as depositing a specific amount of money into the account each month. A term deposit account is one where you lock the money with the bank for a specified period of time, and the bank would pay you interest. The interest rate you get from the term deposit account is generally higher than those you get from a savings account. But of course, the actual rates would depend on the bank and the banking product you sign up for. Once you've decided which bank and which bank account you would like to open, opening an account is very easy. You can do this online or in person at one of the bank branches. Whether you wish to open your account online or in person, you will need to have at least one form of identity document, such as your passport or driver's license and an Australian residential address. If you are opening your account online, you will need to enter your identity document number, which the bank will then verify electronically. You should also have an email address and a mobile number ready. Good to know. Most of the retail banks in Australia have their own apps which you can download for free and use conveniently to check your account balance, make transactions or manage your finance. You can even securely do a cardless cash withdrawal at the ATM yourself or ask a friend to do it on your behalf if you need cash by simply using the mobile app. With a bank card that you get with your everyday account, you can use it to withdraw money from ATMs across Australia. In the past, you would only get free ATM cash withdrawal from the bank that you're with. But since late 2017, the Big Four Bank and the other major retail banks in Australia are letting non-customers use the network for free. For free. These ATMs are available 24-7. Available 24-7. This means if you have a Commonwealth Bank everyday transaction account, you can take your money out at a Westpac ATM for free. And you can do so as many times as you like. This makes it extremely convenient as the big four banks have over 10,000 ATMs combined across Australia that you can use for free. <laughs> if you prefer to bank in person but is not close to a branch, Many retail banks have a service agreement with Australia Post to use their banking services. This means you can go to your local post office to deposit or withdraw money or check your account balance. You can check out the Australia Post website to see if your bank uses Australia Post. Good to know. Making any direct bank transfer in Australia is free and without a limit on the number of transactions. This includes using BPAY to pay for bills and rent. 
However, you may set up a transaction limit to the amount of money you withdraw from your account each day in case there are any unauthorized transactions. When you need to transfer money to a friend or family, traditionally, you will need to have their account name, account number, and BSB number, which is a lot of numbers and increases the likelihood of human error and sending the money to the wrong person. Since 2018, there is an instant bank transfer method called PayID, which is supported by most major retail banks. You can set up PayID with your mobile number or email address. So when you need to make a transfer, you just need to enter the recipient's mobile number or email address and they will instantly receive the money in the bank account. When you make a purchase in person, you can use the tap and go function with your bank card, credit card, your smartphone or smartwatch if you have Apple Pay, Samsung Pay or Google Pay and it is supported by your bank. Because of COVID-19, the tap and go limit has since increased from $100 to $200 per transaction before you need to enter the PIN. That's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed this episode and find the information useful. If there are any information that you'd like to know in particular, feel free to leave us a comment below. Please subscribe, like and turn on the notification. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye for now. Money with the bank for a specific specified specific spe specified many retail br breaks <laughs> Westpac ATM for free for free <laughs> for free <laughs> 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 <laughs>